Hello, it's Meredith and it's Sunday, December 20th, 2015. Tomorrow I'll be 30 weeks post-op VSG surgery. I had it on May 25th of this year. Sorry. Haha, <laughs> eating a quest bar. Um, so there we go. My highest weight was 370. And my surgery weight was 310. Last week I was 212, and today I'm 210.6. Um, but I'm going to round up. So <laughs> that means I've, I'm 0.6 pounds away from having 100 pounds down from surgery and 160 pound loss overall. So yay! I stayed with the metabolic reset diet this week. Pooped every day again. And I wasn't expecting a huge loss again this week. Last week I lost 9 pounds. And um, this week was 1.4. And, you know, I was hoping to get to like 210 exactly or below, you know, so I could have officially lost 100 pounds. But, uh, you know, it's, it's official enough for me, honestly. So, um, yeah. I won't weigh in again this year. <laughs> um, the next time I weigh in will be the 3rd of January. Um, because I'm going home for Christmas. I leave tomorrow. So, and it will depend on how I feel and what things are going on, whether I do an update video next Sunday. But, so I may or may not see you. So in, I don't know, in Friday, I will be seven months post-op. So in seven months, I lost 100 pounds. In 12 months, I've lost 160. Um, I've also gone down nine sizes because guess who's in a size 10 now? Holy cow, the sizes have been just whizzing by. I, it makes it difficult sometimes to wear clothes. Yeah, or fine clothes that'll look good because I don't know it's just difficult to to buy clothes because I don't have any money <laughs> and then to I, you know what I'm saying if, if anybody else has gone through sizes quickly I think I think they would understand but anyway so today I'm stopping the metabolic reset I've actually been contemplating um, just doing it once a month, uh, maybe for a week or whatever. I wonder if it would, uh, you know, jolt my body into saying, whoa, something different's going on. So I think I might try that in January, just take a week um, and do the metabolic reset that week. And then um, I'll be interested to see how much weight I lose over these next two weeks because I'm not even sure how I'm going to eat. I think I'm going to go back to getting my protein goal. Do I want to keep my net carbs below 35 like I had been doing? I think I think so, but I think I'm also just going to add some vegetables in and see what happens. So, um, definitely the amount of vegetables that I was eating, I think that played the biggest part in helping me have regular bowel movements. So, <clears throat> For reals, I loved that. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> when your body's working the way that it's supposed to, it's a good thing. So, um, I didn't work out much this week. There were just two days, one CrossFit and one Zumba class. And, you know, it was just, it was a rough week. I had, the funeral was on Friday. My mother asked me to sing in it. And that was just, that was a lot of emotional stress, too. Because I knew if I started crying, I wouldn't be able to make it through the song. But I needed to be strong for the family and, you know, to minister to them. And I was just, that was a lot of pressure. And, uh, but, but that was on Friday. And then um, I just hung out with a friend pretty much the rest of the day Friday. And that was so good. That was so good to just, we went saw two movies, watched some Sherlock, watched some TV, watched 
went out to eat. Like, it was so good to just get out of my mind and to stop thinking about all the stress that has come the last couple of weeks. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. Um, I bought a Groupon for two weeks of uh, CrossFit classes in Spokane, where I'm going home. Um, for 39 bucks and so I'm really really excited to to be able to do that over the break and um, I'm taking protein powders with me my quest chips and some quest bars and just gonna go back to high protein and I think low net carb but I'm gonna yeah not be so afraid of vegetables anymore I guess oh um yeah. Anyway. Okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it was um it was an emotional week. It was but it ended up being really, really good. So, um Yeah. I'm I can't believe I'm in a size ten. That's nuts. I was just a size 12 and like crying about it. That happened over Thanksgiving. That was three weeks ago. And now I'm in a 10. Like, crazy. I've also noticed my arms are toning up from doing CrossFit. Like, they're still a bit less surgery patient arms, but I've noticed a big difference. I'm gonna. Apparently this is going to be a two-part video because someone was calling and that, that appears on my iPad. Oh, frick. <clears throat> I want to take measurements in January and uh, I kind of am kicking myself for not have taken initial measurements last January, but I really didn't want to know. <laughs> if you're new, I don't care if you don't want to know. <laughs> You take those full body shots, you measure with the tape measure, do it. <laughs> you won't regret it. You'll be, you will regret it if you don't do it like I am now. But yeah, I just to tone up and I've got 40 pounds to go until my goal of 170. And I've got, well, I think I'm going to aim for 140. And, um, uh, a lot of people say, a lot of people have some re regain of about like 10 to 20 pounds. Good grief. And, um, so I think I'm just going to go as low as I can. I'm, 140 has been in my head for years. And that puts me in the healthy BMI range. I, you know, maybe maybe I'll start getting down there and think, whoa, you know, this is too much. I need to stay somewhere else. But I think knowing that that little regain is um, normal. Um, I don't know. So then that means like another 70 pounds until I get to 140, which seems... And sounds really daunting right now, I'm not going to lie. Like, 40 pounds to 170 seems like, woo! I can do it. I can get there. And it's still my goal to get there by May 25th of 2016. My one-year surge anniversary date. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive that I can do that. And, uh, and then maybe by this time next year, getting close to 140. But I don't know. All right. I'm going to go, sorry this turned into a two-part video, got to go see who's calling me. And why does it appear on my iPad? Like, that's lame. Alright, but I will see you either in the new year or just after Christmas, depending on things. But, whatever. Alright, bye.